guys, I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. I'm not gonna cry in here. I'm not gonna cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive, but I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like, I had this dress on. And I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. But it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was like looking around like oh like he was looking for somebody else and I was like okay I'm like hey I'm Tia and then he was like Tia I'm like yeah it's for me from BLK and then we he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down so I sat down I smiled and he didn't smile back at me and then he was like I don't look like my pictures I do look at my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. And then he eventually paid. And then now he cashed. He, he sent me a request to pay for the food. And that's not. I just don't understand. Why are men like this? Men are evil. Black Ram 313 back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video. Hence, another therapy session, man. First thing I want to say is that the first thing I thought of when seeing the subject is the Pillsbury Dough Busted Biscuit Can. And I'm not usually the type to signify, but because the subject catfished, I think that such is warranted. And tears to the subject's tears because you were bogus, dirty, and just wrong, man. What the subject did, let's talk about it. Now, you went on a date. And your date said, you know what? You don't look anything like your pictures. Nothing like your pictures. And instead of just taking that L, you go to social media crying. And you didn't look like your pictures because of heavy makeup and filters. Witchery and deception. And you thought that he was supposed to look past that and say, oh, okay. You don't look anything like your pictures. And of course, the subject knew that. You know you don't look like your pictures. This is why you use the filters. You know you don't look like those pictures because this is why you wear wake up, right? You, you, you wear makeup because you don't look like what you would look like without the makeup. You use a filter because you don't look like that for real. <laughs> And you expect to get sympathy because somebody called you out on not looking real as if you don't know how it happened. Like this is something that happened to you and not something that you perpetrated. Come on, Chaos Goblin. Give me a break. And by the way, Chaos Goblin, don't you understand that at some point you're going to meet the person that you are using these heavy filters with? Don't you know that you're going to meet the person one day? And not have on a gallon of makeup. What do you expect? And that's what I don't understand about the demon. Um, you love to deceive by nature of a demon, right? But you don't think you will ever meet somebody in person. And you don't think they'll be able to tell that you look very different. Not a little different. Very different from your pictures. Now, when it comes to the guy, I have to say, maybe he doesn't know. But there's a few things you should be able to look at a picture and kind of tell how filtered it is. Don't get me wrong. The filters are great. But even with makeup and the filters, you have to be able to discern that, hey, probably don't look like this. And this is why you want to talk to ladies online with multiple pictures, because they usually let at least one slip. You get the pictures of how the subject wish it looked like. 
and maybe one picture of how it actually looks. And a big old huge red flag is this right here. If you don't see two or three full body pictures, it's a no-no. Because there's a reason why you can't see top to bottom. There's a reason they're trying to hide something. And this is where I fault the guys at because you listen to your dating coaches and they tell you to be upfront and honest and do this and do that. And you got to follow these 10 steps. And if that don't work, another 10, another 50 steps and 100 steps. And you got to join this and get this and buy this book and pay for this and pay for it. You got to do all of these things. On top of being completely honest and transparent. Meanwhile, the creature doesn't have to do not one thing. And it is acceptable for the beast to deceive you. Now, let's reverse it real quick and put a guy in that situation, which I have heard of. And the chaos goblin immediately dismisses a guy because it, uh, he doesn't meet the standard, whether that's for looks or height, but especially height. So let me get this straight. Chaos Goblin, you can have a standard. Chaos Goblin, you can have preferences. Chaos Goblin, you can have what you feel you deserve. But when it comes to us, we're supposed to accept just any old thing. No! Busted biscuit can? No! Heavily filtered? No. We don't want it. I mean, isn't this a good reason to get your passport? But don't get me wrong. They do filters everywhere. But at least, at least, it's not as, how can I say it, as necessary in these other places as it is here in the West. And let's just be honest, you can't even score the subject because it doesn't even make it on a scale. In fact, you know, aesthetically, from a dating standpoint, it would be no reason to deal with such an individual. And let me just get this out the way. We play around, we play games. But let me be for real for a minute. Ram will and would not smash. Please believe me. You, you, you do believe me, right? You do believe that I, I wouldn't smash that right. Don't get me wrong. I'm dirty and greasy. I do a lot of things that you guys wouldn't do. What was that? Uh, all the... Things your man won't do, I do them for you, baby. So I do a lot of things, right, that the average guy probably wouldn't. I'll go on dates that probably the average guy wouldn't, but I wouldn't do that. Please believe me. There are standards, although they may be low, they're not that low. <laughs> and again, I'm not the one to really make mention of these things, man. I'm a laid back type of guy, man. I don't really, you know, take shots. But because you catfished and act as if you were done wrong when you were the one out to deceive, you deserve <laughs> a little comedy pointed at your way. Just for fun. Just a little, little, little comedy pointed at your way. Speaking of the subject, of course. But one thing about the subject in general, not the particular subject at the beginning of the video, but in general, the chaos goblin in general, man, it's almost like the subject is born, born to deceive. I mean, at every turn, the heels to exaggerate height and longer legs deception. They even wear these things to make the body appear tighter, like some type of undergarment. Deception. And of course, we know BB, BBLs and all that type of stuff. Deception. Makeup and filters. Deception. Notice that society helps the deception. 
well, why do you think there's a such thing as a filter in all of these cosmetics? There's a big industry because it's almost as if, no, I'm sorry, it's not almost as if. But the world knows, society knows that deception is the creature's nature and forte. You have base layers of the subject's nature. One being deception, one being vanity, another one being stool. The other word is pity. Those are the base layers of the subject's nature. And you do need to know if you're going to deal in the West how to weave and navigate such things, but just don't get played by your dating coach who wants you to think that it's all good when it's not. Because dating in the West is one huge mess, man. Again, another reason to grab that passport and go. Now, I'm not saying it won't happen somewhere else, but the likelihood is far less. Mm, mm, mm. The chaos goblin strikes again. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a Black Ram 313 video giving you this real peel spill right here. Black Ram 313, man. I'm out.